friend wanted me to make this video so if anybody want to learn or check this out you're more than welcome to so you know check it out I'm gonna explain the recalibration station in the new stat library recalibration station and the library recalibration library how it works so we're gonna get into that I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes too I'm gonna try to explain this pretty good let me open this up sorry about that so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna look at the stuff and I'm gonna explain this guy so if I don't look at comments too often I'm sorry I will because just to let people know that are watching probably gonna watch this live we are live right now so if you're watching this like as a upload this is live I'm gonna try to keep it under 10 minutes so I want to break this down for you guys so we have a for the new recalibration station we have uh, the recalibration station here which you can find outside of course if you are already have your um, base operation up fully upgraded but if you don't have fully upgraded where it's outside I'm gonna run inside just to show you where is that too? I'm always first. Never. <laughs> What's up, Rooster? So, just want to try to explain this really quickly to you guys. So, you got the crafting bench here, and you got a Naya, which you get by unlocking by playing the story, of course, at the Deer Settlement. And then you got the Emma Richards here, which is for the recalibration station. You can come here and store stats and talents. Just to let you guys know, it's completely different now. So, what I mean by like storing stats. You want to come to recalibration library. So gear that you get that are max roll. So if you find a gear that's max roll, have a max roll attribute on it. Let's say something like uh, let's see, let's get something that right there. These knee pads here has like six percent crit hit chance, right? And you want to take these knee pads. You probably want to transfer that talent over to something else. Well, that that attribute to something else. What you will do is come to your stat library. You'll come here, come to the recalibration station, and scroll over here. To recalibration library and you'll click here and as you can see you got every weapon type in here and gear as well from mass all the way to knee pads from rifles all the way into pistols as you can see so we're gonna go over here to the knee pads since that attribute is on knee pads so you got the core attribute and then you got the regular attributes so core attributes are something like armor weapon damage and skill tier that you can roll there just to let you know and then over here for attributes, attributes are the minor attributes that are on the gear too. So you got armor regen, hash protection, and so on and so on. As you can see, like that weapon handling, explosive resistance, critical hit chance. See, I already had a max roll there. But I do not have a fully max roll for hash protection. But I have something here where I can increase it just a little bit more. Just to let you know. So, as you can see, you can take these particular stats and store these stats in your library. And by storing these stats in your library, you can use these stats at a later date to transfer these stats over to gear. So we're going to take these knee pads right here that I'm not using. Am I using these? I think I am. We're going to take the ones at the bottom. Actually, no, we'll take the ones at the top. So that one is 9.6%. It's nearly maxed out. So we're going to hold square to extract that talent. Well, that attribute. We're extracting the attribute and we're rolling it over here. So now. I have 9.6% hash protection in my stat library where I can always roll that gear on any other piece that I want to do, use at a later date and I'm going to show you how that works too so since we rolled that there now we're going to come over here to the recalibration station so this is a recalibration station recalibration station is where you come to take those talents or attributes that you stored in your stat library and convert them over to pieces that you actually need that you're using so these knee pads here these are fox pair knee pads as you can see the weapon damage is not maxed out which maxed out is 15 is 14.4 percent but uh, can't even touch those because these are named so that's 15 percent there but I have weapon handling here and I don't want to use weapon handling weapon handling is okay but I want to put more damage on the bill so what I can do is go between these stats here these attributes that I already stored in my library because they're stored there now I can go between any one of these and put those there I can even max out the weapon handling if I choose to but I don't want to do that so what I would like to do is probably add more crit hit chance or crit hit damage on the bill or headshot damage depending on the bill that I'm building so from there what we're going to do is we're going to roll more crit hit damage on the bill so we're going to take this 12% we're going to hold, transfer this 12% over to the knee pads by holding square and it's rolled over there now as you can see weapon handling is gone it's now 12% crit hit damage now we're going to press X to confirm so since we confirmed that now we're good and as you can see the knee pads have 
12% critical hit damage on it now. Now from there, you can do the exact same thing on any gear pieces that you like that you want to improve. But just to let you know, you can only roll one attribute on the gear and one attribute on the weapon type, of course, just one. That's the only thing that you can do. Just to let you know if you want to improve something or change something up. But you have to get the stats in your library. So it is a lot when going into this. A lot. Same things for weapons too. Let's say you have a weapon that you want to increase the base damage on. You need to make sure you have the core attribute in your stat library to do that. Because if you don't, then you will not be able to recalibrate that weapon, that core attribute or minor attributes as you can see or talents too. So let's go back over here to the recalibration library. So something that you also have to learn is and do a lot is you have to rebuild. You have to basically you're building your library. You're building all your core attributes, your minor attributes and your talents. So each weapon as you can see this gun here has close and personal. I do not have this talent in my library that I can roll on any rifle that I choose if I find a, a good rifle that has a bad talent on it that I don't like as you can see. Um, this one has fast hands so what we're gonna do is that take this rifle here and we're gonna extract this talent to my library it's the exact same thing that you do when you're um, doing it on gear base this right here this weapon right here has ranger I'm gonna extract that talent there and store it in my library so I can use at a later date so the reason developers did this so they can limit hoarding now it kinda sucks that we have to manually go through all of this I feel like the talent should have already been there and we should have just been focusing on our core attributes as you can see this rifle has a uh, health damage there I need to store that there it's not a max roll but definitely going to put it there and so on for every particular weapons you got core attributes here you just have standard attributes where you take and put stuff in and the store in the library damage to armor of course which is not a high one, but you know, eight percent is not bad, right? So, and talents, like I said, you gotta store talents, talents, weapons. You gotta put this stuff in your library. So, whatever weapon that you find in open world, you might not have that talent in your library. Do not deconstruct it right away. Be sure to come back to the base of operations so you can check your stats, your um, recalibration library, so you can see if you got ranger or spike or steady handed you know if you don't have stuff like that then you can make sure by coming back here to check before you get rid of it it's very important to do that what's up guys sorry I'm not looking at the comments just trying to get through this trying to help people understand it's just a little bit more um so talents have a lot of talents have been removed from certain gear pieces as you guys can see you only have talents on your chest plate in your backpack so you don't have talents everywhere at all but even so even with the talents that you have you're still storing them so let's say if you want to increase the hash protection that I already did I already did that so but you have to make sure you own these talents already or these attributes you have to make sure you have them already in your um, library recalibration library is very important so these are the talents that you would share now each gear piece you have to go through these so chest plates and backpacks only have talents just to let you know chest plates and backpacks those are the only two places you can put talents on gear just to let you know for weapons of course weapons have their own talents too you can also store those as well you have to do this for each weapon type it will take time to do it is time consuming trust me it is each weapon you have to go through and make sure you have them as you can see I don't have all the talents on everything either but it takes time to do but this is what it looks like so that way you can transfer one talent over so if I want to transfer a t transfer a talent over let's see let's check uh, shotguns let's see if I want to change something mm. let's go to assault rifles I had a assault rifle that I want to change that one's got strength on it we're gonna try to change one that one has killer I don't think I want killer there. So what we'll do here, we'll come back over here to this assault rifle here. And we don't want killer on this gun. So if we want to change, since we got ba um, bread basket in my library, and I want to recalibrate that, what I'll do is basically come over here to the recalibration station, not the stat library. Remember, guys, recalibration station and not the recalibration library. They're two different things. 
so recalibration station is for you to change pieces on your gear recalibration library is for you to store stats attributes and talents in your library so you can use to recalibrate on your gear appreciate that bloody so we're gonna take off killer we're gonna hold square and we're gonna transfer that stat over now we took killer off and now we have bread basket on the weapon as you guys can see so that is it man that's how you use the stat library hopefully I didn't confuse you guys I tried to dumb it down as much as possible and explain it a little easier for you guys to understand and get it so you can know exactly how to build your build recalibrate your pieces recalibrate the library and store it talents wise um, exotics come as is just to let you guys know you cannot touch exotics whatsoever so hopefully you guys do get god roll stats when you do get those exotics they come as is as you guys can see you know sometimes you'll get lucky and get a god roll exotic and sometimes you won't and that's how that works so <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it right there I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me like I said hopefully I gave you guys a clear view a clear understanding to know exactly what to do when it comes to this stuff because I know it can be really confusing when you're looking at this and like okay what's core attribute and what attributes and one more note just to let you guys know um, your high-end gear will have more attributes stats more attributes than your green gear just to let you know I'm gonna show you really quickly so you can get an understanding of that as you can see with uh, high end and green this is the difference you know each gear both pieces have a core but you'll have one more attribute on the build on the high end than you will have on green gear just to let you know on a gear set so and you also have more talents too like the brand set attributes so each brand set has their own individual sets to it the one piece gives you 10% status effect and then two piece armor regen and then the three piece total armor that's something that you guys need to pay attention to when building your build because you will take damage away from your build by rocking the green gear set just to let you know so make sure you guys pay attention to that it's very important to pay attention to that and for those of you guys that wonder about the repair skills repair skills is to basically repair your skills so if you're using the kiln launcher and you want to heal yourself good that's what that's for for heals repairing your skills repairing your armor that's what that's for just to let you guys know alright so yo like I said man hope you guys enjoy this is Badger signing out I'll see you guys in the next one be breezy I'm out